Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Covered. I am Penge and this is Galaxy of Pen and Paper and it sounds and looks gorgeous and I'm very excited to play this. So, Galaxy of Pen and Paper brings Dungeons and Dragons style tabletop role playing into computing form. So, where you sit around, one person's a dungeon master, the DM, the other people are the players. You roll dice, the dungeon master kind of controls the story and what's going on. It is that, but on a computer. But I do believe that our little people are indeed sat round a table, which is quite exciting. I just, I just want you to listen to this music. This, the music is absolutely tremendous. Hang on, I'll be quiet, listen to this. That is gorgeous. That is tremendous. I'll be quite happy with that music just playing in the background while I did anything else. Oh, it's brilliant. The music is exceptionally good. And also, they've done a fairly good job of uh, replicating what my room used to look like, albeit it is far vaster. This room on the screen is far bigger than what my old bedroom used to look like when I used to play tabletop role-playing games. But yeah, look, they've got posters, aliens. That looks a bit like Independence Day. Don't know what those two are. They've got a Starship Enterprise up in the corner. They've, that looks like He-Man. That's a He-Man silhouette. That's Lino from Thundercats. A telly. I had a telly very much like that. A big one, CRT thing. But with this on, I had a telly with one of those on because uh, I didn't have an aerial sort of connection in my room. So I had one of these and I had to reposition it into different places and I'd marked on top of the telly the angles and places where it would be best to receive different channels, if you can believe that. All the four channels there were, yes kids, there were once only four channels. Well, there were once a lot less, but I remember a time when there were only four channels. So yes, they've done a very good job. I think we just go straight in and start playing. This looks tremendous. Episode 1, A New Saga. Oh, it's even got names. Hello? Can you guys hear me? Yes. Yes, I can. Is everyone here? I, sh I don't know. I, it's dark. I presume you got my eyes shut. Okay. I think so. I can't see you though. Oh, right. Yes, fine. Good. It is supposed to be dark. Ah, I think my network is acting up. Let me have a look at this. Okay. What are you looking at? Oh, it's beautiful. There you go, there's the room. Oh, yes, it's a plasma ball. That's an actual plasma ball. <laughs> That's tremendous. Okay, who will be the Galactic Master? Ah, okay, right. I create a person to be the Galactic Master. Okay, let me get on with that. Okay, Johnny Wickles. There he is. He's got a sinister eye patch. He is going to be our Galactic Master. So, not a Dungeon Master like you would have if you're playing Dungeons and Dragons, but no, a Galactic Master, because we're in space. There are also, this is the sort of the third instalment of this series, there are Knights of uh, Pen and Paper, one and two, I believe. But I've, uh, I do have them. I may well, if I enjoy this, which I imagine I'm going to, we may well see those on the channel as well in the near future. Okay, so Johnny Wickles is the Galactic Master. Now we have to create our characters. Oh, this is very cool. Okay, right, so what do we have here? Create character. Do we have two or three? Three, storyteller, socializer, slayer, show off, buddy. Oh my goodness, there's lots. Okay, so we start off with achievers. What are these little things here? What's this? Power, body, mind, and senses. Okay, right. It would make sense for someone to have a lot of senses, I guess, for initiative. Oh yes, that sounds very important. Shield regeneration, that also sounds important. So these are the bonuses, are they? So if you're a simian, uh, are you a trooper? Are we creating one character? Oh, this is one character? Ah, but they have three sets of stats. Okay, so this top one, I don't know what that is, uh, but it's some sort of thing at the top. That's fine. I see. Right, so they all have different stats. So if I want to be a storyteller, they will be 6635, I assume. Yes. Okay, fine. Let's see what there is then. Right, okay, I think I understand it. So the top one is your sort of nature, if you like. It's what you're like. This one is your race, so there are only three options. And this is your sort of job, if you like. So you can be a trooper, a gadgeteer, an engineer, or a bounty hunter. Okay, right, so I think we get two people. It says create character twice at the bottom. So, yes, we're going to create two people. So let's just create person number one. Okay, this is our first person. We're going to have romantic simian trooper called Edna. I like the idea of this person being called Edna. So this is our tanky character. They are going to cause damage a little bit, power six. They're going to be very, very, very sort of tanky. Lots of HP, lots of shield, and more importantly, lots of threat. I do like how they've got lots of threat, yet they're romantic. Their personality is all lovely and romantic. 
Uh, yep, a simian means they get a big boost to those uh, power and body. And then a trooper means they have heavy guns, which is always a good thing. Okay, do I get to choose their appearance as well? Or is that just what they look like? Is that just by default their appearance? Okay, fine. Edna can be just there then. Lovely. And here is another character. Right, this looks... Again, is, is that a lady character? I assume it is. Splendid. Do we get to change their appearance or anything? I, I'm not bothered if we don't. I don't really care. I don't think we do. Okay, fine. Let's get... Ah! Ah! We have changed into somebody... Oh, I see. Does it just change each time? Okay, right. Okay, well, I want a team... I want a, I want a lady squad. I want a lady squad. Give, give me a lady character. No, not that. Give me a lady character, please. Uh, you at the back? Okay, they men and women options. Am I being just really stupid here? No, they're obviously two guys. Okay, I want to get a lady person on. There we go. Her. I would say she's a lady. And now we want someone here with lots of mind and senses. So let's see what we can do for that. Okay, no, I entirely misunderstood. Depending on the combination of things you pick, it changes your character. So this guy here, look. He's green, so he's going to be this guy here, I assume. So that's that's the person I am in real life, I think. And this is my character. So we're going to go for a thinker. He's a thinker. It's okay. He studied the rules. He's green, which is quite cool. He's, he actually is green. And an engineer supports the party, which is probably good. And, more excitingly, blows stuff up. I like that. Okay, let's give him a name. Let's call him Bernard. So we're going to have Edna and Bernard. Yeah, <laughs> sounds like two really old people. Which, you know, given that I used to play this when I was younger. Yeah, I, I am feeling a little bit old playing this. Maybe that's why I've gone for Edna and Bernard. Okay, done. Hey, Edna, Bernard. I can see you guys now. Ah, so we're not really in his room, but we're around his table. Oh, I do like this. This is lovely. Okay, everyone looking good. So, we're playing a sci-fi setting this time. Oh, no, that's Edna. So, we're playing a... Ah, Edna's voice. So, we're playing a sci-fi setting this time. Yep, this is a new system by Cosmos Publishing. <laughs> Derps. Now, there is a real thing called GURPS, which is the generic universal role-playing system. I wonder what the D stands for in that one, or if it's real. I don't know. Okay, derps. Ah, it stands for Digital Universe Role Playing Spiel. Splendid. Spiel? Cosmos Publishing is German. Anyway, everyone ready to blast into space? Oh, I've never been more ready. I was born ready, Johnny Wickles. Okay, exactly a thousand years into our future. In the year 2999. Wow, 2999. That's a weird, that's a weird concept. Okay, yes. So this is taking place in 1999, which would make sense with the decor of the room. Perhaps not, yeah, not with so much He-Man and lion -O. They were a little bit old hat by then. The posters seem kind of correct and the Enterprise is timeless. I'm not sure whether He-Man and lion -O were around in 1999 quite so much, but okay, that's fine. So now it's the year 2999. Oh, and there's an effect happening, and it's jolly exciting. We have reached the final frontier. Space! Of course we have. You live in Tanton, a sand planet located on Le Guin system. Okay, that's good. Oh, it looks somewhat barren, doesn't it? Anywhere you look, tall sand dunes stretch as far as your eyes can see. Yes, they do. There's also a boat, which is a bit weird, because this is sand, unless it's a special sand boat. And is that a spaceship, or is that a cloud? There's some more planets. Okay, cool. Lovely. Oh, and, and we're judging about. You guys live in Tanton's ship graveyard. Oh, good. How luxurious. We live in a graveyard. But it does have a yellow school bus. That's quite cool. <laughs> okay, hang on. Hang on. Let's look around. Pop culture references. So, round UFO discs. That's fine. A yellow bus. Yep, school bus. Not sure what that is. That looks a bit like the sort of the Mars rover thing. That's the Statue of Liberty sticking out the ground. That looks a bit like... Optimus Prime, I'm not really a big arm. Some sort of like Power Ranger type thing. I'm sure that's from something. I'm sure these are all from something. I don't know what they're all from. Sorry, everybody. That looks like the back end, you know, the, one of the engines of the Enterprise or something. That's probably from something as well. I don't know. But okay, this is the ship graveyard. Lovely. Hey, I'm going to work. Do you want anything from... What's with that get up? Oh, Mum! Mum, I'm playing games. Get out of my room, Mum. You ever heard of knocking? I call this method game running. You know, that'll be for nothing if you haven't stood at the core book, right? <sighs> what kind of third rank GM do you take me for? All right, all right. I'll leave you to your game. Okay, bye, Mum. Love you. Back to Tanton, finally. Oh, nearly slipped up there, Sonny. 
Um, you live on Tanton Ship Graveyard. Oh, it's rotated round. Okay, fine. You sold your stuff to buy a spaceship from Vestro, a local used spaceship dealer. Of course I did. Unfortunately, you didn't read the fine print when you signed the contract. Oh, you idiots. You are now bound to Vestro until you pay him one bajillion credits. Is that a lot? I mean, if, uh, do I get paid one bajillion credits for working for an hour? Cleaning toilets? I don't know. I've got no frame of reference for it. What a rat! Oh, yeah. Hey, doofusis. Oh, right. He's a kind of creepy person. Insectoids have holed up inside the storage. Is he like a snake man, I assume? They refuse to pay rent, so kick him out. Oh, no, he didn't elaborate his s on so, did he? Vestro orders you guys to kick out the Moftoids. <laughs> oh, I like Moftoids. They sound tremendous. In his storage, what do you say? Character choice. Okay, so body. Presumably that's her sort of strongest attribute. It says, I'm sure they can be reasoned with, which I assume means let's go and punch them. And mind is saying, why are insectoids in your storage? I see. So my two characters here are going to be saying, right, hang on a minute, what do you want to ask? Yeah, I think we go for this. Why are there insectoids in your storage? Did they creep in or did you let them in? Spill the beans. Cool. You get bonus interpretation XP. Oh, lovely. Thank you. Okay. Now Vestro says, Beats me. Insectoids behave erratically since their leader died some decades ago. That's going to be very irritating if he, you know, talks a lot. There's an awful lot of s going on. Something wrong with their insect brains or something. Anyway, I gave you an order. Go do it. Mm, all right, bossy. Okay, right. So he's our sort of master type guy, is he? Hmm, how curious. Oh, God, right. Mission start. It had to start on a sand planet. Well, of course it did. Clear Vestro storage shed from the invading insectoids. I've added that in myself. Who don't pay rent? The bastards. Okay, we've teleported in. Boxes and bits of spaceship parts. Oh, no, sorry, what? Boxes of bits and pieces of spaceship parts are piled around Vestro's storage shed. And there's boxes, no spaceship parts, but okie doke. You soon come across the insectoid intruders, a bunch of moth toys. Oh, are they hanging from the ceiling on a little thread? That's nice. Bzz. Hey, keep quiet. We're sleeping here. Bzz. I don't know why the, the moth toys are American sounding, but they are. You find the intruding insectoids. What do you do? Character choice. Well, I'm going to ask why they're here. Rather than going in and killing them, he just sort of, not politely, but he said, Hey, we're asleep. Why are you here? We just want some place to bzz, stay. This planet is too bzz, hot. Well, bugger off and get somewhere else then. If it's too hot, why did you come here on the first place or in the first place? We got bzz, lost. You're asking too many bzz questions. Defeat three Mothtoids to continue your mission. Oh, so they got lost and now they're going to have a fight with me, are they? Is that what's going to happen? Okay, create ground combat. Ew, what's happening? Mothtoid. This moth-like insectoid alien is too lazy to fully emerge from its chrysalis. So it just stays there forever. Splendid. Okay. Uh, I don't really know what to do. Add a moth toid. Add three moth to I don't really know. Oh! Oh, I see. Oh, no. I do oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to do that then. Okay, so if I fight four moth toids, I get bonus credit. So I get bonus monies. If I fight five moth toids, I get bonus XP. And if I fight all of them... Oh, I don't even get better loot. I don't even get to that point. Okay. I think... Oh, now how many do we want to do? We've got to fight at least one, I assume. <laughs> That's a bit rubbish. There's three of them left, so we've got to fight at least three to kill them. Do you know what? Should we go for five? I don't know how hard this is. This might result in my characters being dead straight away. I don't know. But, um, yeah, difficulty is red. I don't know if I like difficulty red. Difficulty yellow seems more manageable. Given that I don't know what I'm doing, and I don't understand the rules of the game, and we're all level one... So yeah, HP 12. He's only got HP 13. Oh, he's got HP 13. Edna's got HP 25. I think four. Uh, do you know? Yeah, four. Four, four. Go for it. Go for it. Go for four. Go for four moth toys. I mean, they're just hanging from the ceiling on a string. How hard can they be? Okay. Fight. 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 Okay, we've dropped in. Oh, yes. Like little character models. That's beautiful. Derp's combat is pretty simple. Wait for your turn. Click an available action and choose your target. Wondering what to do now? Attack, skills, strategy actions, items. It's your move. Oh, this is lovely. Okay. 
Right, so it's Bernard's go. So what do I get to do? Attack, forced slowdown. Oh, what's that? Deals 12 to 15 damage, applies slow status and raises your threat. Oh, that sounds quite cool. Okay, on, well, the one at the front, why not? Duh, 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 duh. He's doing a thing. And, oh, I've killed it. Oh, I've killed it right in the face. Okay, now it's Edna's go. Uh, deal 26 to 31 damage to your target. I don't even think we need to, do we? Change your, ally, change your target's front back line and reduce its threat. Right, I don't know what that does. Change enemy. Okay, or item use items. Well, we probably haven't got any items. Do you know what? Let's just attack you then, Sonny. Oh, I could have took on loads of these swines. I didn't realise it was going to be quite like this. Of course, he is going to take some damage. He is a little bit weak. You have kinetic shields on. Oh, of course I do. As long as they are up, your HP won't be affected by most attacks. Apart from... Oh, no. That's his shield. His SP is his shield. What's this? Hang on. What? Hang on. What? Shield is... Oh, no. What's SP? What's SP then? I don't know what SP is. But yeah, okay. So my HP is 13 out of 13. My shield is this thing here, which is 11 out of 15. And I've got SP 7 out of 11. Special powers? I don't know. We'll find out later. Shields partially regenerate every turn. Be careful. I can't guarantee your safety without them. Okay, they're going to attack him as well because they're going to pick on him. Right, now it's his go. So it's Bernard. Um, yeah, you're. A, that's a bit crap, isn't it, Bernard? Attacking normally. 7 to 10 damage. I'm not very good at that. Okay, what's this? Change, ally. Change your target's front back line and reduce its threat. Do you know what? Should we, should we just do that? I don't know what that is, but let's do it for fun. Uh, no, we can't do that for fun. Okay, let, let's just let's just shoot at it or whatever we do. Oh, we whack it with a wrench. I do like that. Okay, one at the back. Let's just kill you in your own time. Ah, oh, no, it's covered by you, is it? Change your target's front back line. What does that do then? So they swap. Ah, I see. See, oh, I get it. Right, they're eating him. They're eating his shield. He's ah, they went for they went for Edna. Right, okay, right. Whack this one then, if you can. And boom, right, you're dead. Beautiful. And now, surely, yes, you're not covered. I see. So you can't get to the ones at the back unless you've dealt with the ones at the front. Makes perfect sense. Shooty, shooty, dead. Goodbye, moths. Oh, oh, that is a victory screen and a half. That is beautiful. 12, whatever they are, coins, 12 currency, 56 XP. Oh, well, that was tremendous. And a rat burger. Okay, slightly less tremendous, but okie doke. Fine, we'll bzz, leave. Hope you're happy with yourselves, you bzz, home wreckers. Well, we did try and reason with you, but you didn't listen. The moth toids wiggle out of the storage, rolling down a sand dune that's probably scorching hot. <laughs> bye bye, moth toids. Not the brightest ones in the hive, huh? Let's tell Vestro we're finished here. Yeah, get planned. Get planned. Get paid. The moth toys are gone. Good. You got some credits from them, eh? Yes. Yes, I did. What about it? I'll take those to help you pay your debt. Oh, you swine. See, I'm only looking after you fools. Kikiki. You are a sod. Vestro takes the money you got from beating the moth toys. What do you say? This isn't right, or we'll be free of you one day. Oh, I might go for her. I might go for this isn't right. Can we kill him? We could take him on. He just robbed us of all our bloody money. This isn't right. Do I look like I care about doing what's right? Besides, it's in the contract you signed. Mental note. Put more points in the fine print reading skill. Yeah, very good. Okay, I'll show you how nice I am. I'll cancel your contract if you ever get hold of a spaceship of your own. Oh, well, there we go. Don't you own all the spaceships around here? Oh, that's right. I do. <laughs> I'm like you, Vestro. I hate this guy. I hate this guy. Yes, so do I. That night, you notice a star that shines brighter than the other stars in the dark sky. Someday, we'll be exploring those mysterious stars. I hope. I'm fairly sure you will. Oh, oh I, I love this. This is so sort of... Power Rangers, almost. Like, pchow, pchow, mission complete. Had started on Sam Planet. Oh, I got 40, uh, 40 credits, coin, gold, whatever it is anyway, and uh, 80 XP. And I'm just going to uh, listen to music for a few seconds. This game has an excellent audio backing to it. That is tremendous. Okay, continue. 
Outcome, a rat, three rat burgers, mm, and two distilled water. Recovers 10 SP of your target. Uh, okay, yeah, so that's your sort of specials, if you like, your special points, and that's HP. Okay, fine. Now what? What do we do now? Level up. Oh, is that level up? Mission creation. Create a new mission. Team information or space talk. Okay, let's click on you, because you've leveled up. So presumably you get something good. So your shield. Oh my goodness, your shield has gone up an awful lot. Your HP has gone up a lot. You've got an extra point of your special thing above. Your damage has gone up. And your shield regeneration has increased. Okay, click to continue. That's probably a good thing. Do I get a new skill? Uh, okay, I don't really know what I'm doing now. What's this? What am I doing here? I appear to... Ah! Oh, do I buy things? I've got two skill points. So what can I buy? Can I buy anything for two skill points? Burning sense. Uh, your attacks are critical strikes if your target has burn status. Oh, I see. Optimistic raises your minimum damage by 20% and raises your critical chance by 10%. Oh, I like that. Hang on. Is this heal, though? Heal? Yes. Yeah, I think healing is probably a good thing. She's kind of tanky, so she can heal people up as well. I think that's well worth taking right now. Yes, healing is probably very important. And then can we go to Bernard? Yes, Bernard in his green face has improved as well. Considerably, considering he's... Yeah, that shield regeneration is very good as well. Yeah, he's good. He's got two points. So what can he have? I want him to protect the team. Iron will. Raise your HP. Your attacks raise your threat. I don't know what that does yet. I don't know what threat does. Not sure. Okay, what's that? Push. Sciencery. <laughs> I like sciencery. Clean up. Remove all negative status. Metamind. Your attacks heal yourself if your target has poison status. Well, that's quite cool, isn't it? First aid. Repair bot. Raise your shields by 50%. I want something to help the team, really. I want something to kind of help everybody. Okay, what I might do is I might save his. Oh, what's that? Almighty power. Your attack deals six or seven extra damage if your target has stun status. Yeah, why Why haven't I got anything to help the team rather than just help me? These are all like help your shield. Raise your stuff. Your attacks are critical. Pulls your target to the front line and deals 24 to 29 points of damage. Oh, that's... Yes, we'll have that. Thank you very much. Yes, that's cool. So we hike people out the back line if they're hiding, drag them to the front. And that one is a push. Yeah, let's have that as well. So we do the same. No free slots available. Oh. Oh, we have to put them in here, do we? We only have four skills. Ah, okay. Well, we'll leave that. No, let's take this out then. The other one can do that if we like. How do we drop it? Just take it out like that? Yes, like this. I like this. We want that. Uh, pull and push. Yes, beautiful. There we go. Okay, sorted. Okay, space talk. What space talk? Nearby planet dwellers. Ah, you're adventurers, aren't you? It must be so nice that... Discovering the wonders and secrets of the verse. Well done, well done. Lovely reference. I actually haven't seen Serenity anywhere yet. I haven't seen it. Or if I have, I've completely missed it like an idiot. And it's people's. It is. Why don't you try it too? Me? I don't know, it looks very dangerous. Well, yeah, there's danger involved, but you can take it easy at first. No need to take everything in at once. Actually, you're right. I can go in adventures. I will sell my possessions and buy a ship. Ah, now, hang on, be careful. Hey, uh, don't go overboard. I, Rufus, will discover all the secrets the verse has to offer. Rufus. I is he Rufus out of Bill and Ted? He could be Rufus out of Bill and Ted. I'm not 100% sure. He runs off excitedly. Okay. Now there's someone easily excitable. Oh, I liked him. Well, good luck to him. Hopefully we'll meet again. Yes, let's hope. Okay, that's that. So now we need to create a new mission. I do like this. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it if possible. Okay, I think it saves on the fly. So let's create a new mission. This is jolly exciting. All right, time to test the mission creation system. Okay, doke. By choosing a mission type mission giver and setting you can create all sorts of adventures oh my goodness it kind of generates its own quests oh this is beautiful okay let's see what we can come up with okay a campaign quests cost 20 of whatever those are star points have i got 20 star points a oh, reputation 20 reputation to start a campaign quest i don't assume i can i can't do anything else 
No, I can't do anything else. However, my reputation goes up there. What's happened to a tease at the top? Um, you learn to control your expenses, which gives you credits bonus. If we have 400, we get an XP bonus. And if we have 600, <laughs> you learn how to properly use the scanner. That would help make it easier to find stuff. Oh, this is very cool. Okay. Type. Campaign quest. Total reputation 20. Start mission. That's all I can do right now. Okay. It's still, it's still easing me into it. The following day, Vestro shows up again. Let's see. That NTE protector could use a good scrapping. Oh no, an NTE protector. I don't know what that is. Help! Somebody help! <laughs> For some reason, I'm having a shower and I'm in a towel on a desert planet. Some guy wrapped in a towel is screaming for help. What will you do? Well, he has a towel, so that's pretty good going to start with. Towels are important. Okay, tell us what happened. Go on, Bernard. Someone's sanding sand raiders. Someone's sanding sand raiders to take over Crazy Camel. Do you mean sending sand raiders to take over Crazy Camel? Hang on, what's Crazy Camel? Sending. Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, I like that. He corrected himself. Blast it. That's bad for business. All right, Kent. I'll lend you my private soldiers. Oh, that's Kent. Hi, Kent. For a price, of course. Ah, fine. Escort Mr. Kent back to Crazy Camel and take care of those sand raiders. What's Crazy Camel? You can take that ATV we scavenged last week. Is that it there? That looks like an all-terrain vehicle just there. Wait, wait. Why in the verse is the town called Crazy Camel? Good question. Good question, Bernard. It's a long story. You don't want to know. Trust me. In fact, I... Let's j j just... Oh, no. Le. In fact, let's j just go. I'd rather face the raiders than think about it. Mr. Kent has joined the party. Oh, no. I've got to keep someone alive. If I escort Mr. Kent back to Crazy Camel, investigate the town situation. Okay, now we've got some new options. Planetary travel. Access the planetary map to explore the planet. We can create our own battle scenarios with available foes. There's a thing here which I assume is our current mission. So I can't click it and do anything. And that's creating a new mission. So I assume I have to go to planetary travel. Oh, it's... This is gorgeous. Look at that. Little markers for each location. There's a pyramid there. Okay, I assume, given there's a giant pointer pointing over it, this is where Crazy Camel is. There we go. Crazy Camel. The uh, city of Crazy Camel. The origin of this town's name is a mystery. Well, only to us. No one else is bloody telling us. Okay, I think we're on Crazy Camel. I think we're here. Okay, so click to continue. However, there is a shop, it said. Yes, buy gadgets, consumables, and ship equipment. Gadgets. Give me gadget. A hat. Is a hat a gadget? A cyber, a cyber screwdriver. Jolly good. UVB protection. A scientist suit. I like a scientist suit. And there's a load of random items. I think we're just going to save up for now. Can we sell some stuff? Oh, it's not very worth selling anything. Okay, fine. The shop is good. Space talk, fighting, uh, and traveling, and battle formation. There's only two of us, so it doesn't matter. Okay, it says click to continue. The trouble with sand raiders. The dusty hot town of Crazy Camel is famous for its cantinas, filled by all kinds of weirdos. Some sand raiders approach you guys as soon as you get there. Hey, you must pay an entry toll if you want to visit Crazy Camel. Because for some reason the sand raiders are from kind of Cockney London, from the 19th century. Uh, yes, okay. I think I've seen you before. I can't think where. Orders of Lord Ginormous. <laughs> oh, yes, I like Lord Ginormous. But, but, but I live here. Hey, making excuses not to pay. We'll just confiscate your stuff then. Don't confiscate his towel. You have confiscated his towel. <laughs> oh dear, he's been censored. Or he's found a convenient block of wood. Uh, wow, this very much feels like those dreams where you're naked in cyber school. Yeah, I've never had one of those. B -b but in real and embarrassing life. Naked Mr. Kent dashes off like there's no tomorrow. That was very mean, you nasty bullies. Oh, Bernard's a child like me. Hey, do, don't try to distract me. Y'all need to pay too. The Sand Raiders demand an entry fee. What's your next action? We fight them, presumably. You can't charge us. Or what are you doing? I think body. I think we exert a bit of force over them. They only look little. We can have those guys. You can't charge us. Hey, you have to pay. 
Hey, actually, we can use this as an excuse to beat you up. Then take your credits. Hey, I like that idea. Stop saying hey. Defeat five Sand Raiders to continue your mission. Okay, this looks impossibly difficult, but fine. Oh my god, look at that. It's gone right up. We've got difficulty red. Oh, goodness me. Right, we are going to have to be very wary of what we're doing here. Okay, fight. I have a terrible feeling I could have avoided this, but okay. I like this, though. I like the attack. Thing. They've got bloody shields as well. They look as tough as us. Oh, dearie me. Okay, so we can fight with him. He's not very good. Let's use some of these powers early on. Let's use this. Six, though. How many has he got? Twelve. Right, he can do this twice. Pushes your target to the back line. Okay, might as well push him to the back line then. And boom! Ooh, that took a lot of energy off him, didn't it? Right, they're attacking Edna. Edna's taking a, a bit of... Oh no, Edna's shields are gone. Edna's shields are gone. Edna is taking a lot of hits. I Are we going to survive this? I think Edna... I mean, Edna would normally be dead. Edna would normally be dead. Okay, heals that. I think he needs to heal Edna up next turn. She can take one of these guys down. What's their thing? Oh no! Oh, 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 I didn't mean to click on... Oh, for goodness sake. Uh, oh, and he hasn't got the heal thing. Oh, this has all gone stupidly badly wrong, hasn't it? Uh, okay, let's get you. Let's at least try and take one of you out. If I can kill one of you, that's probably a good thing. Yay! Right, one of them's gone. I suspect Edna might go down now, though. Because her shields are not... Oh, they're picking on him. They're picking on Bernard. Okay, pick on Bernard again. Oh, no, they're shifting themselves around. Oh, Edna. Edna is down. The tank is down. Oh, Bernard, I think your chances are limited, buddy. Sorry. Uh, okay, what's he got? 8 out of 12. Let's do that to you. That should kill you, I would have thought. Right. Bosh. Take the damage. Beautiful. So now there's only three of them. But they're all going to gang up on me and probably take me out. Right, his shields are gone. His HP is coming down. I think we are dead. Yep, critical hit. I've been defeated. That seemed very, very difficult. Okay, can we try again, or do we just literally end? Ah, we're in some sort of special med bay. You find yourself back in the... Oh, the med bay. Lovely. You were brought over by unseen aliens. They took some of your credits for their trouble. Little crooks. At least they didn't take everything. Think about that. Oh, they've left me with some rat burgers, have they? Mm. Oh, now I'm on a spaceship. Am I actually on a spaceship? Med bay. Visit the med bay to restore the crew's physical and psychic health. Okay, is that not where I just was? So what do I do now? Oh, it literally just does. You go to the... I've not just paid again, have I? Did I just pay some more money? Ah, oh, what an absolute wally. Okay, do we just go back? Do we just go back to here then and try again? Wee. Oh, I got a little spaceshipy thing. Yeah, okay, well, let's try again. Okay, I'm here, but clicking this now doesn't do anything. So, I think... Do I need to click this? This is flashing on off. Crate battle is flashing on and off. So, Sand Raider. Enemies left five. Do I need to take them all on at the same time? Like, could I just fight three and get some extra credits and see if I can win and then take another two on later? Let's see if I can defeat three to begin with. And, uh, yeah, actually use the attacks properly. Okay, right, you. You're all stood on that line. Let's bring you to the front, then. Let's just do that on you. Why not? Let's do that. Use Pearl on you. Boom, and a big hefty hit of damage. Right, you, use your charged attack and just take one down. Just kill that one. Surely that's enough to hurt them. No, you're still bloody alive. Good lord. Okay, normal attack. We'll take these two out, I would have thought. They're picking on Edna. Edna's shields are down. Oh, that was an attack on Bernard. So his shields are weak. Um, okay, let's get you... Let's take you out. Let's take you out. How much has he got? Six out of twelve. This is going to use all of his power, though. Um, how much have they got? That's what I want. I want to. I want to know what their sort of what what hit points is that? Is that six? Is that thirty? I don't know. Okay, let's do this on you. Let's do that on you. Hopefully that'll kill you. It'll slow you down and then give you some damage. Yes. Okay. Beautiful. Right. Edna's go. I think. I think that might be enough to kill you. I hope. Yes. You're down. And we've got one guy left. He's going to pick on. Who's he going to pick on? Who's he going to pick on? Ooh, Bernard. That was that was a heavy old hit there, Bernard. Right, just wallop him with your, your, your wrench. Very good. And then you can do a charge attack on him and probably finish him off. Boom! 27 points. 
Victory! Click to continue. 14 gold, 38 XP. It's beautiful. Okay. So now they heal up a little bit. So now do I go back to the med bay to heal up? Uh, they're psychic powers. Psy psionic points, whatever they called it. Or do I fight again? So all my shields have replenished, but I'm not fully healed. Okay. So now, do I go back to just there? Because that was where the med bay thing was. Why does it say unknown? The Tanton spaceport. Yeah, okay. And then go here. Boom! They've healed me up. Oh, that's good. I didn't see what it cost me. I actually don't know what it cost me, but okay, fine. And then we can come back here again. Diddly diddly do. And land. And have another fight. So there's only two enemies left, it says, that I need to kill to proceed. But if I can take on four enemies, I get bonus XP. So I think we can take on four of them now. Now I know what I'm doing. We did that. Oh, no, actually, no. Thinking about it, no. We struggled a bit. Bernard was quite badly hurt, wasn't he? Let's knock it down to three. We'll get some bonus credits. I think that's a good plan. Okay, fight begins. It's Bernard. Let's use push. Let's push you to the back. Why not? Whack you out of the way. So you're at the back and damage. Lovely. Right, now they're all going to get a go before poor Edna gets a shot in. Oh, 18 points. Edna's shields are down. Oh, Edna is taking an absolute kick in. Okay, charge attack on you. So let's just see if I can kill you. No. Ah, oh, bloody hell. You're, you guys are pretty tough, to be fair. 14 to 17 damage on... That's four psychic points. How many has he got? So he won't be able to use anything else. Or do we just do an attack with his weapon? Oh, no. Oh, no. Right, no. We're going to use this. We're going to cause 14 to 17 points of damage on you. And if you survive, we'll make you slower. Now, hopefully you won't survive. And bang! Beautiful. Right, you're down. Now the tables have turned. It's even. Even Stevens. Two versus two. You have got an awful lot of health on you. Okay, you. Shoot him. Bang! With your big super blaster thing. Yes, beautiful. Right, now Bernard should be able to go and whack him with a spanner thing. Yeah, beautiful. You only get one go, so I assume you're going to... Ah, yes. Okay, and now we can just we can just pick at you now, I think. There you go. Bang. Dead. Yes, take that, Sand Raiders. 14 money things and 38 XP is mine. Lord Ginormous will have our hides for this. Have you got hides? Ugh. An armoured figure appears. No, we won't, because you'll all be in jail. Oh, well said, random blonde lady in a weird suit. Space police isn't any better, you know. I'm Val Parsec of Nebula Command, soldiers. Val Parsec, beautiful. I'll handle the situation now. You're relieved of your duties. Okay, bye. Val drags the Sun Raiders away as she goes looking for more troublemakers. Oh, thanks for your help. Thanks for your help while they beat the cack out of us earlier. Cheers. Mr. Kent returns. Whew, good thing I managed to call Nebula Command to aid us. Yeah, they arrived just on time. I even had time to go home and get a fresh new towel. Just get dressed, man. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, why didn't you just get properly dressed? C quit judging my fashion sense. Mr. Kent, you're weird. I've just realised that he's got Mr. Kent and he's wearing a towel. Is he supposed to be sort of depictive of Arthur Dent from Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? Who also used to carry a towel around with him? I don't know. I'll have you know my towel collection is nothing short of impressive. I'm sure it is. Anyways, thanks for your help. Things are looking up around Crazy Camel. Mr. Kent leaves. I hope I put some pants on now. So do I. At least acquiring trousers is easier than getting off this dusty rock. Choo choo! Yes, mission complete. The trouble with Sand Raiders. We are done. We've got one unexplained device. <laughs> Revives a fallen character and heals half of its HP. Oh, that's rather good. I like the way that I don't know what it is. A kind of a brown glass thing with a red thing in it. I like it. Okay, who are we going to give that to? Let's have a look. Team formation. Oh, what? Oh, no, not that. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. That. Uh, where is it? Where's my team set up? Where's my actual team set up? Like, how can I equip items to people? Oh, it's just down here, isn't it? What an idiot. Uh, do they share the things then? Or does that mean that Bernard has got the unexplained device? Oh, no, they, they share items. Okay, that is absolutely fine. 104 credits. What was in the shop? 
batteries, petroleum syrups. I quite like the idea of gadgets. I'd rather have gadgets, thank you very much. That raises our shield by nine. That's probably quite good. Or raises your sort of psychic power points by two. That's quite good. They could each have one of those. Yeah, should we buy two of those? Or is there only going to be one? Oh, no, two. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah, we'll have two of those. And then we can equip you with them. So there we go. Gadgets. We'll pop that up there. Yes, I like this. You've got 13 at the moment. If I give you that gadget. 15. I do like this. I do like this. This is very reminiscent. Okay, let's do one more mission. Create a new mission. I've now got 30 reputation. I don't know why it says abductees at the top. Is that our current status? I, I, I don't know what that is. Okay, fine. Let's create another... Uh, oh, what's that? An empty slot. Okay, fine. Maybe we still need to do some more stuff first. Campaign quest. 20 stars. 20 reputation. Yes, let's go. Hmm, what to do now? Let's go to Ship Graveyard in Tanton. That's where we live, isn't it? That should be the most advantageous step for us now. Should it? Why? That's where we live. That's where the guy is. Oh, we've gone up a level. We've gone up a level. We've got one skill point. Okay, we'll save some skill points. Okay, right. Let's go to Tanton. Let's go to the shipyard thingamabob. Okay, nothing going on, but it says travel time. Click to continue. Okay. Hmm, looks like that star is visible even during daytime now. We saw that the other day too. Weird. If you have time for stargazing, you have time to work, Bernard. Soldiers, I uncovered the Sun, uh, Sun Raider leader's hiding place, a local refinery. I can't leave the town unattended, so I'm sending you to take him down. Sending. <laughs> I like that. Valparsic wants to temporarily conscript you. Let's do it, or is that even legal? Let's ask if it's legal. <laughs> I like, I like his thinking. Of course it is. I'm the law here, soldiers. Okay. Sure, I'd be glad to lend you my employees for a modest fee. Kick, kick, kick. I understand you like money. What do you spend it on? There's nothing here. I can arrest you for obstruction of justice, sir. Uh, I meant they'll be happy to help. You'll be paying for this later. Oh, you sod. <coughs> Good. Soldiers, go to the nearby refinery and incapacitate this master ginormous. Oh, yes. And be careful. They're inciting to strange creatures over there. Oh, well, of course there has. She runs off. Just remember, I still own you, Edna Bernard. Once that officer is gone, you'll still be here working for me. Yeah, I don't like you. That guy must be a blast at parties. Mission start. Authoritarian authority. You were conscripted into Nebula Command. Your mission to resolve the Sun Raider crisis. Okay, so we've got to travel over there. So we're going to go in our little ship, zoom past Crazy Camel, zoom past whatever that is, and go to here, to the oil refinery. Yeah, let's land. Oil refinery. Okay, let's continue. Dominated by a ferrous smell. Ooh, good word, ferrous. The refinery's rusty pipes haven't seen action in a while. Suddenly, enemies approach. Defeat two Petro Men. Defeat two Sand Raiders to complete your mission. Okay, two Petro Men. Petro Men, two Sand Raiders. Okie doke. So now I've got two different things to kill. Oh my goodness. HP 84. Okay. Let's take on the two sand men first. Let's just deal with these guys first. I don't think we can defeat those Petro men very easily. So let's take these guys out. Okay, right. You, you slow on you to slow you down. And bang, and a bit of damage. But that's good because it hurts you. And now, Edna, use your charge attack on that one. There you go. Bang. Ah, oh, nearly got it. Nearly got it. So nearly took you down, Sonny. Okay, you're shooting poor Bernard. Uh, Bernard, just whack that one with a spanner. There you go, that one's gone. And then, there we go, Edna's go. Yes, charge attack. That should finish you off, I think, if I'm right. Boom, 35, down and done. Victory! Splendid. Another rat burger. Bit weird. Okay, now what do we do? Do we take on... Uh, not those guys. Pet Petro Man. Shall we just take one on at a time? One Petro Man, a creature made out of oil, created by Ginormous. Technically a zombie, since petroleum comes from fossils. Oh, very good. Mission target. Um, okay, we'll try and take one on. We'll have a go at one. We've got stuff to heal ourselves with. We've got healing powers. 
Uh, okay, right. You can maybe slow it down. There's no point slowing it down, is there? Because it's just going to get a turn. Anyway, let's see if slowing it down helps. Let's just see if it drags its turn around. Maybe I'll put it there so I get another go or something. Okay, your turn. Charged attack. Might as well do it some damage with a big old shooty gun. Oh, beautiful. Right. It reaches out with its horrible claw hands. Uh, okay, just attack it normally. Attack it normally. I think Edna can have this. Edna, come on, Edna. Come on, come on, come on. Massive attack. Beautiful. Critical. Yes, victory. Nine monies, 20 XP. I do like this. One petroleum syrup removes all the negative statuses from your target. Okay. Um, can I heal up now? Like, can I have something? Can I drink something that gives me back all my stuff? My SP? So can I... Ah, oh, I can use it now, can I? Ah, so I can use it right now rather than having to be in a fight. Okay, yeah, I think... Oh, no, he's got seven already. Okay, I think we take on the next one. Come on, oil monster. Come on. One left. Let's go for it. Here we go. Horrible oil monster comes in. My character's dropping. This is very lovely. I didn't notice I had a floaty thing with me. That's quite cool. Uh, let's use that. And... Bam, bam. 30 points. Okay, let's use that on you. Massive shooty, shooty attack. 35 points. Petrol monster's going to whack one of us. Oh, he slowed Edna down. But it didn't do anything. She still gets to go right. Whack him with a spanner. And Edna, just, just finish him off. Finish this monster off, Edna. Blah! Beautiful. Another nine monies and 20 XP. Beautiful. The oil things <laughs> the oil things lose consistency when defeated, forming pools of black goo on the floor. I beg to differ. Looks like last night's dinner. What? You eat oil? Let's proceed carefully. Okay, let's continue. Continue in through the building. I imagine we have to do some more stuff. Reaching the final room, you come across a large human dude and a green wearing a hat. Oh, I'm a green? We haven't got any humans. We've got a, 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 a green and a monkey. Only authorised personnel are allowed here. Scram! The big guy's trying to scare you off. Uh, body, we order you to stop. Mind, what's with that green? Yeah, what's with that green? Oh, you mean ali Aliena? Aliena? Aliena, that'll do. We are collaborating on a little project of mine. Ha! Hey, here's an idea. Beat him up and get us out of here already. That's unacceptable. You work for me, little lady. Go take a dive on a tar pit, Eugene. Oh, I like her. The name's ginormous. He's forcing me to create those oil things using my science abilities. You exploitative swine. Aliena, get us out of here. Or the dice gets it. <sighs> Don't be sad. I'm leaving last surprise to do you in. <laughs> Aliena moves her staff around and they're gone in a flash. Oh, okay. Where they were standing, there's another creature now. Okay. It looks like a washing machine with boxing gloves. <laughs> okay. Right. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, and he's got human legs as well, of course, and human arms. And, yeah, a washing machine kind of body and face. Okay, good. Huh? It's my turn now. I'll knock your teeth in. Look out. That washing machine. It is a washing machine. That washing machine is alive. Washing mesh. I'll have you now. I'm the fantabulous unboxed box. Oh, very good. Oh, sorry. Um, that box unboxed itself. Oh, 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 that's right. Now I'll unbox you. Okay, a fight is going to ensue. The box is going to go first. I don't know how tough the box is or anything. Whoa! Oh, my goodness. Edna. Right, we need to uh, slow you down. Let's use slow on you. Let's see if we can make you a little bit slower. He's immune to slow. Oh, well, that would have been nice to know a bit earlier. Right, massive attack on you. Huge big attack. Bang. Oh my goodness. Okay, you're really bloody tough. Uh, you're stunned, but you're still in the game. Okay. Uh, items. Have we got any items that we can use? Removes negative statuses. HP. SP. Everyone's alright for HP at the moment. SP might be quite useful. I can't do any of my special attacks. Uh, I'd rather use it on her, though. Yeah, let's re recharge her SP so she can use the big shooty gun thing. And then he has no option. Let's just whack him with a spanner. 10 points. 10 points is 10 points. Beautiful. She's stunned, which is fine. He gets another go. He's whacked Bernard right in the face. 
Right, Bernard, hit him again, hit him again. Hit him, hit him. She's still stunned. Oh, God, how long is she stunned for? He's going to keep hitting... Oh, my goodness. You need to be unstunned. Can you unstun yourself now? You've been stunned for bloody ages. Uh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Attack him again. Oh, Bernard's doing this all single-handedly. She's still stunned. Am I supposed to do something to unstun her? Because, um, I don't... What else am I supposed to do? Okay, Bernard, just keep whacking him with a spanner. A spanner. I've been saying spanner. It, whatever. It's a spanner of sorts. Hang on. Am I am I supposed to do something to unstun her? Because this is all a little bit biased, isn't it? Uh, okay. Whack him again. Bang. She's still stunned. Am I supposed to roll a dice? Is that what it is? That's what that sort of little red thing is. That's me rolling a dice. Ah, okay. Right. Edna, we want you to stay alive. Have a rat burger, Edna. Mmm, you're stunned, but you can still eat a rat burger. Right. Whack him again, Bernard. Bernard's got one more hit. And she's still stunned. Wow, I've got terrible dice rolls, it seems. And Bernard's last act is to kill a washing machine. Bang. Thanks, Edna. Thanks for being no bloody use at all. Never mind, Bernard. At least you've got a sturdy wrench in your hands. Outcome. One towel. The letters M-R-K are embroidered on it. Whether this is Mr. Kent's towel or not is not known, but it sure is comfy. It raises your HP by 12. Ooh, and your SP by 2. Oh, that's quite cool. That was the second strongest box I ever fought. Alienas. Aliena, I don't know how you say Alien is being forced to work for a big jerk, same as us. We have to help her. And we're back on the thing. As you step outside, you see Ginormous's ship blasting off. Whoosh. Drat. If only we had our own ship to chase him. You certainly notice that bright star from the last few days is falling down. Okay, this probably isn't good. Do I need to move out of the way? Okay, it's crashed. The ship has crashed. Holy Deus Ex Machina! <laughs> Very nice. Say, wouldn't a crash so close by completely kill us in the shockwave? It wasn't that near. That's fine. Because if you apply the meteor impact rule from the core book... Chill, Bernard. Remember the golden rule. The GM has the final word. Of course, these godlike powers must not be used in vain, so don't get too comfy. Come on, Bernard. Let's go check that ship out already. It seems to have crash landed in the area correspondent to the Sector X Sigma 42 coordinates. Okay, good. Mission update. Yes, we've done the mission update. New objective. Go to Sector X Sigma 42 and investigate the fallen ship. Beautiful. Okay, okay. I'm really enjoying this. I like this a lot. And I can see this being an awful lot of fun. I like... I like all of this. I, I, I like all, all of it. All of the game. I like the graphics. I think they're very good. They're very charming. And yes, they're pixely, but you know what's going on. They're very, very cool. I didn't... Uh, he's got a, a little sort of waste paper bin down here. It's a little waste paper basket. That's quite nice. I like the sound. I like the audio on it a lot. The audio is very good. The writing is very good. The sort of the plots are, are quite good and sort of engaging. I like the fact that you can go into your little sort of thing and zoom about. Uh, oh, we're supposed to go to there, are we? And yeah, I, I like this a lot. I like that there's this little map. And then I imagine this is one world of many. So we can go to lots of other different worlds. This is very lovely. Okay, okay. I was only going to do a one-off for this. But this might develop into a series, possibly. I might just do a couple more just to get used to it. I'd quite like to get off the planet, maybe. Get off Tanton, so find ourselves a ship, fly off and just do that. I think maybe you could be playing this for hours and hours and hours. In fact, let's level up first. Yeah, we're going to save our skill points for some cool skills. But yeah, that's good. We've leveled up a little bit. Thank you. So yeah, I think we might come back to this. It might not be immediate, uh, immediately coming back to it, just because of time and other games and other things going on. But yes, I think we should definitely return to this. And yeah, if we enjoy this... We could have a go at the sort of earlier games, the um, Knights ones, the Knights of Pen and Paper as well. Because if they're in this similar vein, but obviously in a knight sort of fantasy setting rather than sci-fi, I, I see no bad thing with that either. But yes, I think without doubt we shall come back to this lovely, lovely game because it is... It is beautiful and very, very enjoyable. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Covered, and I will see you next time. How much cake did you have? Not a lot, you bugger off to the door! Blah! Can I be sick down our back? Oh good, there's nothing creepy about some mysterious, ethereal humming. Oh no, Mum's been on the gin again. Mum's been on the gin and she's been watching rom-coms. Oh Mum, no, what have you done?